What's going on YouTube? Champion Productions coming back at you with another Transformers video review. And in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the original 2007 Transformers All Spark Power Deluxe Class Cliff Jumper. So let's set Cliff Jumper off to the side here. Raise the camera up. There we go. And yeah, the packaging is actually pretty cool. Um, you got a picture of the All Spark there in the background. All Spark Power. Uh, we got a picture of the Transformers logo, and then we got. Um, an Autobot insignia right there on the front of the box here. We got Cliff Jumper, um, Autobot insignia. We got a picture of Cliff Jumper's face coming around to this side. We have a little Autobot insignia right here, and then on this side, it's got some textures on it, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, some textures and some wires on the side here. Uh, on the bottom, uh, nothing going on there. Uh, coming around to the back of the box here, we got a picture of Cliff Jumper in his robot mode that his cannon converts to a blade. And his Camaro concept mode, a little bit on that, um, a little bit more on that here in a little bit. But, um, yeah, he does have a bio. Let's read that. Surely an impatient cliff jumper is almost the exact opposite of his friend Bumblebee. Where Bumblebee is sneaky and careful, cliff jumper is just loud. He'd rather find the nearest Decepticon and blow him away than sneak around gathering intelligence. If you know where the bad guys are, you really don't need to know anything else. Reasons? Cliff jumper. Why not just start blasting and pick up any data you need afterward from smoking wreckage? With Megatron and the AllSpark destroyed, hunting Decepticons is easier and more fun than ever. So, pretty cool bio. He he sounds like a bit of a hot shot, but um, yeah, he's also got some pretty pretty cool little tech specs down here. Uh, strength my camera yep strength 8 intelligence 4 <laughs> speed 7 endurance 9 rank 5 courage 10 fire blast 7 and skill 5 and then it also shows that landmines available in autobot camshaft and then uh you got transformers cliff jumper he has conversion level of 3 so yeah that's about it for the packaging let's go ahead and take a quick look at his accessories he does come with this little gun right here which, yes, it does convert to a blade. And, of course, my camera's not wanting to focus. There we go. Um, it does convert into a little sword. And, as you can see, it's a pretty it's a pretty good-looking gun. Um, there's no paint on this um, at all. <laughs> um, you got a little bit of translucent blue showing up through the side of the gun here. But, I mean, overall, it's a pretty neat little gun. Uh, so, to transform it, what you're going to do is split it down the barrel. Split it in half and then fold the two halves onto the side. And then, as you do that, the blade will fold out. And, uh, yeah, here we have blade mode, and blade mode looks, um, it, it's pretty good. I like it. Um, it looks good. It's a nice sea green color. Um, there is a little bit of mold flash right here on the side of the blade, but, I mean, other than that, it's a fun little weapon, and it's just a cool, cool little accessory in my opinion. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool little gun. It does come with a instruction booklet right here. And then he does come with this pamphlet right here, which shows a bunch of different Transformers toys. Uh, we got Voyager Class Starscream, uh, Leader Optimus, Deluxe Jazz, uh, Robot Replicas, and then they made a Starscream Nerf gun. Uh, <laughs> Starscream Barrel Roll Blaster. <laughs> I, need, I need to find one of those. Um, that'd be awesome. They have a Starscream nerf gun. Um, on the other side here, we got a bunch of different Transformers merchandise. School supplies, uh, shoes. Um, we have shoes, Transformers shoes, watches, shirts, backpacks, hats, all sorts of cool stuff. Then we got Ultimate Bumblebee, which I'm pretty sure a lot of that stuff, <laughs> it, it, it's hard to find, like hats and stuff um, that are based on Transformers nowadays, but... Anyway, send all that off to some. So yeah, now that we've taken a look at everything else, let's go ahead and bring Cliff Jumper back into view, and here he is in his Camaro concept mode. Now obviously nowadays, this is an official vehicle, but back in 2007, this was not an official vehicle, and even though it was, uh, it was shown in the live-action uh, Transformers film, it, was, it wasn't made an official vehicle at that time. It was... It wasn't until later on that this design of Camaro would become an official vehicle. Uh, or, yeah, design of car or Camaro, whatever, um, became an official vehicle. And 
just this yoke mode works for me. I really do like it. Um, and it just looks good, in my opinion. I, I really do like it. Um, you got some nice silver paint for the Chevy emblem right there. You got some nice silver headlights painted in there. You do got the nice, uh, you do got the stripes that Bumblebee would normally have, but they're painted silver with some uh, black outlines. Um, but it doesn't go onto the uh, roof or anything. It just stays on the hood, which, I mean, I'm okay with it. It still looks good either way. But, um, yeah, I got some nice silver painted hubcaps. Got um, it's very hard to read even in person, but it says Camaro and it's painted silver. Lovely little piece of detail, and it's just amazing that they painted that. Uh, got some nice silver door handles here. Um, coming around to the back here, I can't tell exactly, but I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. I I, I can't really tell, but I'm pretty sure they use a slightly different shade of red for the back tail lights, which that that that's. That's amazing. Uh, again, got another nice silver Chevy emblem right there. Um, some nice silver um, uh, exhaust pipes. I can't find the word. Um, <laughs> but yeah, got some nice silver exhaust pipes on it. And just overall, this figure is well painted and just looks really good. Now, you can store the weapon in vehicle mode. Uh, I'm going to show you that real quick. So, I mean... Yeah, this is this is what go, that's what this is what's going on on the underside of the car. Um, yeah, just some robot kibble. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, to get the gun stored, there are there's a peg hole right there and a peg hole right there. What we're going to do is take the gun, and there's a two there's these two pegs on the side of the gun. Now, what I like to do personally is open up these doors, um, just like so, and then you can split you can split the rear section of the car and that will sort of give you clearance uh, to put the gun in there so we're just going to slide that in and then everything will tab together just like that reconnect everything and yeah and it doesn't affect how he rolls and he rolls just just beautifully the pinned on wheels help so much I mean it just this is a nice vehicle mode now bringing in 2007 deluxe class jazz let me make sure my camera's in focus Bringing in 2007 Deluxe Class Jazz, as you can see, <laughs> Jazz, he feels like a much chunkier uh, figure than um, Cliff Jumper here. Cliff Jumper feels like he just, and he just looks sleek. Jazz, while he's a Deluxe Class figure, he just looks so much bigger and chunkier for whatever reason. Um, but as you can see, there, there they are. Um, yeah, Jazz is significantly. Uh, wider, uh, not by much, but I mean you can definitely tell the difference. Uh, trying to get that. There you go. Let's bring in 2007 Leader Class Optimus Prime, and uh, yeah, Optimus is a you know, obviously a semi truck, and I mean honestly these two do scale fairly well next to each other. I mean obviously we never saw Cliff Jumper in the film, and I wish that we did. But as you can see, I feel like these two are decently in scale, if not in scale with each other. Um, yeah, I mean, that looks good. If I ever display these two figures in vehicle mode, this is probably how I'd display them. Because that actually does look pretty accurate to how a um, Camaro would um, um, scale with a semi-truck. So, yeah, a good scale. Um, vehicle mode looks great. Nice, sleek. Great paint abs, great detail. I, I absolutely love this vehicle mode. So let's get Cliff Jumper transformed and into his robot mode. So the transformation is pretty easy. It's pretty cool as well. Um, so what we're going to do is start off by untabbing these doors off the side. And yes, you can count that as articulation in vehicle mode, but robot junk. <laughs> anyway, or robot kibble, I guess. But anyway, we're going to come to the back of the uh, vehicle mode here and we're going to split it apart then we're going to remove his gun set that off to the side then we are going to pull this section up here and this whole the whole uh, roof of the car here um, untabs from the back section and then it splits apart and these will become the robot arms now before you pull those two sections away we got we have to pull these sections out just like so and this will pull the um, door out as well. It is quite tight on this one side. 
but it will click into place. That is very tight. Um, yeah, then you can move the arms out the way. Then what we can do is just if we get enough clearance, we can move these. It's, it's very hard. Um, move these door sections, move them up. And then notice here, there are these gears right here. And as you fold the chest down, um, it will begin to sort of spin the arms around. And that will allow you to... Um, that will allow you to position everything correctly. So as you fold the arms down, I mean, and you can move this section out of the way as well. So just sort of, uh, just sort of fiddle with everything. Uh, it is uh, is a bit fiddly of a transformation, but once you move the arms out of the way, uh, you can reposition the doors uh, to make that wing effect. Then what we can do from there is take the arms, fold them around, and then take the hood or the roof of the car and fold it onto uh, or swivel around onto the side of his arm. So, just like so. Swivel it around. Then for the legs, the legs are probably the coolest part of the transformation. So, what you do... So then what we do is we take this section here and we fold it up. Just like so. And then for probably one of the cooler parts of the transformation, we take this foot section and we fold it up and as you or fold it down and as you fold it down the back of the car folds up onto the back of his leg and then the wind the back windscreen or windshield goes onto the side of his leg and that's a pretty cool little automorph gimmick that they had back then so do it from this side and as you can see on the front it kicks or it pushes forward his shin then all we got to do get him situated uh, move these uh, move the front of the Camaro up to form the chest And here we have Cliff Jumper in his robot mode. And I've got to say, this robot mode works for me. Yes, it is a repaint of the original 2007 Deluxe Class Bumblebee, but a very good repaint in my opinion. And I was never really able to get my hands on a Cliff Jumper figure, and I, I'm, I'm happy with this one. He, all the joints are nice, tight, and he just looks good. Take a look at some of the details on him. Uh, got some nice molded in detail there on the shins. Got some nice silver paint on. Uh, the, normally the license plate would be there on Bumblebee, but it's nice silver paint nonetheless um, on the torso section. We got some nice all spark blue here on the forearms. Um, some nice all spark blue on his stomach area. Coming around to the top here, uh, we got a nice silver Autobot symbol right there on his chest, um, a beautiful head sculpt, I mean obviously it's nowhere near accurate to the, um, uh, to how Bumblebee looked in the movie, but I mean it sort of sets him apart from the, um, Bumblebee, so, uh, it sort of works in my opinion, and if you get the light just right, he's got some nice, beautiful blue light piping, so, that's pretty cool, he can hold his gun, which I'll show you real quick, um, yeah, so what we're going to do to get his gun into place is a, he's got a little handle right here that will just simply slide into his hand or snap into place. And I mean, that, that looks pretty good. You could probably get some decent poses with him holding his, um, gun here. Um, yeah, and obviously you can convert it into sword mode. Um, that's how that looks, so he can come at you with a sword. But, I mean, yeah, it's a pretty cool little weapon here, and it does a fairly nice job uh, representing what we saw with Bumblebee's cannon in the movie. And, like I said, this is a repaint. So, yeah. Bringing, uh, bringing in some size comparisons, let me bring in Jazz, Deluxe Class Jazz. I mean, as you can see, Jazz is just a tad bit shorter than Cliff Jumper. As you can see, um, let's bring in leader class Optimus Prime. Um, I have I have difficulties getting his feet to stay deployed, or his toes to stay deployed because uh, it's on an auto. <laughs> he just towers Cliff Jumper, and I mean to be honest, that's a fairly nice scale right there in between the two. I like it. Um, I feel like that's how they would scale in real life. So 
uh, yeah, feet issues. Yep, there we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, his articulation's pretty good. Um, let me pull his cannon out of his hand real quick. Um, articulation's pretty good. He's got a toe pivot right here. Um, he's got like an ankle joint. Um, I think this is more for transformation, but you can rock it forward and backwards. He's got a bend at the knee, although it is a little bit blocked by the um, car kibble back there. He's got a ball joint in the um, hip, so he can get a good range of motion there. Um, can swivel a little bit due to the fact that that's on a ball joint. Uh, then he's got like a, let me show it to you. He's got right in there, he's got a little ball joint. So he can, you can get him doing some interesting poses. You can get him with like a sort of, you can get him like this. I mean, you can definitely have some waist rotation going on in there, although it does look a little bit funny, you yeah, know. Um, forget I said that. Um, he's got a ball joint in the shoulder, although it is a little bit weirdly, um, a little bit weirdly, um, positioned, so whenever you do uh, use it, it, it's just a little bit, I mean, you, you can still use it, obviously, but it's just a little bit weirdly positioned, it doesn't affect overall the pose or anything. Um, one thing I must mention is that these shoulder pieces right here, these red little shoulder pieces pop off so easily, so... Yeah, just be aware of that if you do decide to pick up this figure. Um, rotation in the arm, uh, bend, like an inward bend at the elbow. Thankfully, he's got a wrist rotation, so you can definitely have him like this with his arms normally, and you can get him doing like a normal elbow bend instead of this weird inward elbow bend. But, I mean, me personally, I like to show the detail in the, uh, the silver paint and all the energon blue and stuff going on his arm so um you know his personal preference he does have a ball joint in the head which can swivel left to right can look up and down uh can do full 360 just yeah very good figure now obviously i would have done comparisons if i had the original 2007 deluxe class bumblebee in which i don't unfortunately um but i mean overall this is a solid figure in my opinion and I would recommend him. I recommend him a lot. He's a good figure. He's a lot of fun. And I, I, I just can't say no to him. So, guys, that's all for me. I hope you all enjoyed. If so, be sure to click like. Uh, comment what you think of Cliff Jumper in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me. Champ Productions, signing off.